I'm going to prepare the things we need before we're gonna actually handle them. So there's a few things I want to show you here. So we've got these um, cotton buds, which are for removing the scales where we're gonna stick the these pins on the moth because obviously they've got scales so it would fall, it would just stock it to the scales. We've got this um, double-sided tape, which we're gonna use basically to just wrap it around the these pins which are the ones that we're going to stick on them so it's just just to make it easier to remove the glue from them because if you just stick it to that it's the faff like just <laughs> removing it and then we've obviously got the pins which are just pins that are bent approximately 90 degrees approximately um so this is where we're going to put the cellar tape we're going to put a little blob of glue and then we're just going to stick it on on the pronosis of the moth in this case so we can put it uh, on the flight mill and then it's important but this is the glue which we're going to be using it only can be this because it's the one on the like the one that has been used for these flight mills and it's the one that sticks but also these and sticks better and just doesn't harm the doesn't seem to be to do anything to the moths or to the insects uh and then we've got these things which are just to help us um to put the moths on here and these um little what would you call this like netting right? netting yeah. yeah to just hold them down with our so we can have a, in one of the little spots depending on how big the moth is some of them we'll need these for these bigger spaces or the small ones to just stick it in on, on, their, on the pronotus. So first of all, before we get the moss, what I do is we, we put the, we just cut some little strips of the cell of, of this double tape. It's easier to do it without gloves. <laughs> like it's just, it, you end up like, <laughs> getting everything stuck. So just get a little tiny thin piece and just carefully, if you can see that, I'm sorry, it's a bit, just wrap it around the bent part. So, sorry, there you go. And then you just wrap it around. There you go. So I, I, I ten, depending on how many I've got, or they're prepared so I've got four moths but there's always some certain mistakes you make or some of them don't stick so I'm just gonna prepare just a few more going to do six so we've got a little mar error margin there <laughs> margin of error how do you say that <laughs> right so before I put the moths get, go get the moths because they've just been there like two minutes oh uh, you basically get the moth, try to put it um, with its like with its wings on the top on this on this sponges and then just put this down, hold it and we'll you can use these things. They're, these are just for putting some weight down so they don't escape because they will try to escape. <laughs> so you can just put it here, you know, so you've got your moth there. Then you just put a little blob of glue here and then very carefully just stick it well, sorry clean the, the pronotus first when there's no scales only on the pronotus be careful to not remove the scale from the wings which is the most important part in our experiments and then carefully just pin it down hold it for a few seconds I tend to just blow gently so it dries a bit faster and and then when you've got the, you've got it just carefully they're not going to fly away because it has weight on their body so the the pin has makes put some weight on them so they won't fly away but just be careful so just remove that carefully and then you get them off with the pin put it in the in the uh, pot again and close the and close the the 
Later. Later. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then we're just taking them to the to the um, a flight mills and just put them in. So to do this, we obviously need to do it in a sea room <laughs> because mm -hmm. we don't want it to be flying. We don't want them to be flying around or out. <laughs> so uh, should we go get? Should we just put this in the sea room? We're gonna put some gloves on and our lab coat, and I'm just gonna leave the things in the sea room and then prepare the sea room and then we'll get the the moths. Stung. <laughs> So we want to get that area in the hole and we want the we want to put some weight on it so they don't fly away. Usually put like that and let's see if this works in. Yeah. You want to get the pronotum. that hole this one's a bit there it is so now this glue dries really fast so it's better to just keep putting some little blobs there leave it open like that and then basically with the with the um pins with our um double double sided cellar tape already put there just put a little blob on the on the cello tape, and then with it bent like that, we're gonna stick. Here's where the head where the head's gonna be, and here's the rest of the body of the moth. So, oh man, I forgot to do that. Before doing it, sorry about that. I forgot. Like we want to remove carefully the. the scales of the moth on the pronotum without without removing it from the wings as you can see there it's because like otherwise the pin will come off with the with the um, scales yeah so we carefully just put it like that on top of that and leave it for a few seconds stop there so we make sure I'll leave it there and I, I tend to leave it a bit longer so while I do the other ones so it, we make sure it's um, we make sure it's properly stuck that should be enough And then we get another pin. Better to squeeze a bit out of glue because it it does dry really really fast. See that's that sometimes happens. <laughs> it's a bit difficult to get on them sometimes. I'm gonna check if I. And it has still a bit more scales. You can also do it with with these if you feel more comfortable doing it like that, but I personally do it better with my finger. I've got a really bad pulse, so. So before taking them out of here, what I do is I do get the this uh, the tongs and I just try to like pull it a bit from it to see if it's stuck properly. Hopefully not. See, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's trial and error though. I'm 
going to try this one see if it has dried out and this has stuck well actually so this I take off this I tend to grab it with the towels to use oh no oh no <laughs> <It's not like laughs> I think total numbers so that's how we know when we analyze the data we know which one is which first of all obviously get on the computer <laughs> and get the program ready if it wants to start so the program is um, downloaded and and installed but you can like I've, I've got it on my th through my user so it's just I guess you have to just install it to your user in this computer so but meanwhile while it opens what you can do is first of all when you want to put the moths in there you want to make sure because this worked with magnets uh, we want to put the moths in the side where the little tube is so we're going to introduce the the pin in the tube that's where the moth's going to be and then this is going to rotate and this little device is the one that is recording so it detects it detects the the speed and the distance by the the um, black lines going through that so because these work with magnets you want to make sure that they're stuck to the top magnet not the bottom one before you do the experiment and then basically to pin them in you just so we've got them on the first paint what i do is i get it with the tweezers tongs because it find it easier and you can give it a little piece of paper and <laughs> they will stop flying it's quite funny and cute actually <laughs> so you just put them in the little tube if you can manage there it is so we're going to leave it leave them with a little piece of paper until we want to start the experiment obviously in this room you can put the you can have control temperature or the conditions you want so you have to prepare that before hand so let's see the program i'm gonna log in Also make sure that the they're all connected. They're all connected here, but make sure this device is on. They put an on and off button, make sure it's on before because it's the thing that is gonna record. So there we go. So now this is a program, I've got it installed here, but you could this is my desktop, so whatever you would want to put it on it and this is how it's going to look it's a bit simple so you can put it a name so let's say you're gonna obviously have the sorry you're going to obviously have the date and the time but maybe you just for your for the sake of it you just want to put I don't know Irene so it doesn't get mistaken so um, I always do a little test to see if it's working. So you might want to put it in a test. And just you just have to click connect flight mill and that's it's gonna start recording. So I'm just gonna move one of them to see oops, to see if it works. It should there it is. See it's recording, so it works the program. So I just click exit and that's how it stops recording. It di directly goes out of the <laughs> goes up out of the program but you'll have the results in the csv file so okay let's click connect and we're going to take the little this paper of the moth so hopefully you you ideally you'd leave the room you'd put the lights off if you want them to be at night or do whatever and leave the room and maybe re start counting your results like five minutes after you've you've put them in so you don't have the I don't know the effect of you being in the room so it's wanting to fly a lot 
Um, it's difficult to stop them now because. How long do you try to live there? Four hours? Well, yeah, hours. It depends on your experiment. If you want to look at migration, you, I'd, I'd, I'd leave them overnight. Okay. So eight hours with the, with the lights off. So I'd try to leave them when they would usually they would usually go dark, and then collect them when they, it would usually light up. Like the light would, would go on. So it's like twelve hours. Okay. And then when you are finished, let's say we're finished now, I'd click first exit to stop it recording at the time you want and then so there we go exit and then you want to stop them oops okay here here's a little paper there you go get them a little paper and then you could just I don't know, just you know put them back in the in the in your tubs in your pots take the paper off And there you go. And now to collect the data from here, um, it should it should be in a folder. I've got the folder here out here, um, so it should be in in the folder where the program is installed. So you just go in it, and you've got see your a test, which is the one we've done today. I've got a few in there, but this is the one we've done today. So. 12 of March, sorry, 3rd of March of 22 at 12. So if we open it, it should appear like we saw it last time. Well, it's a TX uh, word pad, but you can open it in Excel. And it's the same, has the same um, format. So the date, the time, and the different channels. Obviously, it's very, very little time, so it's not enough for it to start recording like, you know, mad. And that's it, you just put in a USB and you go home and you analyze your data <laughs> and you hopefully get a paper. <laughs> <laughs>